Let's talk about home. Let's talk about when you leave the military after years of combat and killing and terrible conditions. Uh, I think it's important for our viewers and for the children of our viewers to understand what was the transition like? How difficult was it to go from that combat conditions and then readjust back into civilian life? They look you straight in the eye. Do you think this guy you're looking at today has adjusted to this day? It's a slow process. And as we shared earlier here, you relive this with flashbacks. So this is part of the adjustment you're still making today. Uh, initially, they're very tough. Uh, I can recall a time of coming home and I just wanted to go take walks by myself uh, to get away from the family, to get away by yourself, basically. And I'm walking down this street in Lancaster and I'm going by a, a home that had a, a fence, pale fence there, and there was a kid coming the other way. And this kid had a stick with him, and he just took the stick and went brrrr, down along the fence. I picked myself up out of the gutter. Do a thought, it's just a natural reaction from what you've been going through all these years. When you have a machine gun fire, you hit the ditch, you don't care who you are. You don't think, you're reacting. Uh, but you recover from that slowly. And it's up to you mentally to, again, not only get ready to go in combat, now you have to adjust your, yourself mentally to get back into civilian life and be able to adjust to civilian life. It's not easy. Dick, we're blessed that you spend the time with us doing this interview. Uh, my father, God love him, when he was alive, didn't talk about World War II, didn't talk about his experiences yeah. in the South Pacific. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We need the veterans to talk about it. We need to know yeah. the horrors that you saw and what you went through. Why do you think it was that when the veterans came home, there weren't Band of Brothers books then? No. There weren't movies then? No. Men didn't talk about their experiences. Why do you think that was? Because to talk to you, they could talk to the men that were in the service with them that had shared their experiences. You can't always talk to men because they were in the army, but you had to share the experiences of the battles that you were in, that you shared, shared together. And to talk to somebody that was also in the army, you can talk to them, but in a different way but yet to talk to a civilian or somebody who's never been overseas. Again, you have to withdraw yourself because he won't know what you're talking about. And uh, you do not want to come across as the, uh, or leave the impression that you are bragging. No, you're not bragging. You're just sharing a memory. And that's hard to do. So yeah, it's very, very difficult. And as you can see, it's even difficult right here today.